Service and entertainment with related sales. It says Joy Rice, Happy Days, Family Fun Spot, and Cruising Cafe. 172 West State. It must mean cars because I don't see it. Yeah, that's a No, it's not even a car. No, it doesn't have cars. Well, I don't know what the rides are. I've been there. It's no, that's the name of the spin on it. No. No. Joy Rice is the name of his company. He's running Happy Days as a subsidiary. Because he does do other things with drugs, but he sells that uh, the parts out of the pack, shit out of the pack. And so, get a motion to make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have a permanent request for the cranes from Denise Barron. And, uh, no liquor. Taylor Street Pavilion. Family reunion. 46 people in the lock hall. Do a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, have another one from Tina to Forge for August 27th, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. 200 people. Uh, no alcohol authorized. Entertainment license from Joy Rides LLC, DBA Happy Days, Champion Fun, Family Fun Spot, 172 West State Street. For live entertainment music, provide uh, entertainment to customers, karaoke, DJ, small bands, 172 West State Street. Motion? Second? Uh, no, do nothing like that. Live music. Your house is nearby. Or? What? What's the distance? This is like the driving range. The place is mainly houses across the street. This we got a house that with the abutters. Has hmm? has he met with the abutters and stuff of that nature? No. No. What we've done is sometimes we'll buy music events. We limit it to ten away or to nine, all the way to ten, something of that nature. That way they have to shut down. Okay. Are we getting form of that or we approve those individual things or is it just a blanket? This is just gonna be a blanket so we can hold them whenever. Unless the board wants to limit the hours of time. Do so you know what he's planning to do? He's got so many ideas, he comes in with us. Uh, I know he wants to do a couple more like remember a couple years back he brought in all those cars and had the video. Yeah. At the live band, at the, the old cars that we have. Yeah, no, that's uh, the hot rod kind of things. He wants to do a few of those if he can. I think we need to have some guidelines there or just <clears throat> have him come in and explain a little bit more detail. Okay. I mean, it's one of those things that you don't mind doing it, but I also want to know that the abutters of the property also have a stake in this. You know, they, they have a stake in this. Yeah, well, that kind of makes sense. I agree. Okay. So, uh, 
Mrs. Next thing on the agenda is discussion grant writer. That's a stupid uh, Actually, I'll go ahead. Let's go for it. Yeah, um, I know. Input is, is my thing. Well, this is before that. I wanted to, before we went on, moved on, I wanted to see. Can we just have Chris sign off on the two France permits rather than us going through them all? I don't know how everybody else feels about that, but I really don't see us having a need to, like, just, it's just a formality. I don't know. Because sometimes it's liquor and fall. It's not a problem. We've got to make that decision. Okay. I don't think we get that money. So. Well, I think we have all these people's names off of them. Like, that, I have no problem with that. All right. Well, let's do that. Unless the fees be away, but I think we should make sure. <coughs> yeah. Okay. okay. No, I, I, I'm proposing that we're, the town itself, some way, shape, or form, employs or a grant writer. I think it would be beneficial and prudent that, that we look into that, hopefully form a committee, get some input from the townspeople. Um, I, I believe we previously had one, if I'm not mistaken, but a part-time one. I'm not quite sure. No? Through the uh, Hampshire Council of Governments. Oh, that's in the today they trust him. Uh, he met with us maybe a couple of times and we never really saw him after that. They, when the original administrative assistant position was created back in the mid 80s, it was a shared position with Hadley and that was one of the responsibilities was supposed to be. In fact, I think. Um, Originally, it was a grant that filled that position, and that was the theory that, that this person would write grants, but it, it soon evolved into something entirely different. When the grant was up, um, it wasn't removed for whatever reason. He came to work for us. It's done. 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 Was, I said, came to work here full time. Kevin? No. Um, no company. Um, we've never, and I, since I've been here, had a grant writer on staff. I was just curious if, if it's a good possibility we could get one in. Look into the situation. I think every department should should be should have the input of, of writing grants, but have one individual in the town actually be responsible for meeting with the people, sitting down, meeting with us, and actually moving forward with with grants that are needed for the town. I mean, I know other department heads most likely, they write their own grants, but I think that's something that is time consuming and really shouldn't be a responsibility of a department head. Uh, I, I certainly do believe that a grant writer, in my eyes, would be beneficial. Uh, take the burden off department heads and even the police department, the fire department, the highway department, you know, anybody who wants to work with them and see what monies are out there to actually be obtained for situations that may arise and or situations that <clears throat> for the future. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't see a, I'm not sure it makes sense to have somebody other than the police chief or the fire chief writing grants for their departments. I, I, I don't know the answer to that, but I assume the expertise is possible. It's uh, important. I don't mind uh, having a grant writer, but we don't have any money. This is past our budget, so we can't, um, we can't really hire anybody, per se. They can do a percentage on a percentage basis. And I, I just think, I mean, working with, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, the, not having each department head instrument in having them take the grant, work with the grant writer and us, Chris Martin, and start moving towards grants that are, are feasible to get. Most towns do have a grant writer. I don't know if you have anybody on staff. As far as the police and fire grants go, 
They're going to spend so much time educating the grant writer, they might as well write the grants themselves. They're not that difficult anymore. Not the ones that they get, like, for instance, Chief Wishart's got this thing that just, you just wrote one for, uh, through 911. They're, they're basically the same grant every year, and you're just renewing it. It's not, it doesn't take rock to write them. And there's not, a, there's not a lot of grants out there. I mean, they're just, there aren't. Uh, and when we have specific projects, such as the sewer project, that mm -hmm. was part of it, right? They wrote the grant for the, or whatever, the project could go forward, the company that could have working on it. That, you know, we need that expertise there, right? So I just don't, I don't think, Mark said, the moment on your money matter. I, I don't know, how, how, <clears throat> how would you work that on a percentage? You say, okay, come work for us, write a grant, and pay yourself. In the meantime, you work for nothing. Well, that, that's where logistics would have to come in. We'd have to sit down and actually figure it out. But I mean, the percentage of, of the grant, you know. Well, they, see, your grants are so tight that mm -hmm. some of them don't allow for that. No, I understand that. So, but I'm like complete the grants, they don't allow you to spend money on the grant writer. It's, this is what the grant's for. So, now you're writing a grant, who's going to pay for that? Well, we'd have to figure that one out. We'd have to. Uh, that's what I'm saying for down the road. I had something to certainly keep in mind, but I don't, I don't see the practicality of it at this point. I mean, just just because I don't think there's any grant money out there. Does um, PDPC do it? Grant money? Do it? Yeah, I'll spend on that. Oh, could you? You said there's a grant writers all the time. Maybe you do a little research, find out how they operate, who's got them, certainly will, you know, how successful they've been. And well, that that's part of the criteria. Would if you're going to hire one, you can interview them and. No, I mean how successful their grant writers have been writing grants. Okay. If the town of X has a grant writer, what have they done for? Them? Okay. You know, oh, just sure. make it see how feasible it is. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. You said it's like. I'll take your questions or comments. All right. Here we go. Appointments. Uh, we want to do that. Do that at the end. Yeah, that's because that's going to take some time. Is Al coming for a second session? Yes. I asked. Uh, PPA. Power purchase agreement, we have uh, power purchase agreement that was approved at the town meeting in, meeting in May. And I'm just asking the board to authorize the chairman of the board to sign. Who may have a piece of some light reading? Sure. Uh, make a motion to allow the town administrator to sign up the act of the board. Power purchase agreement. I don't know if he wants to or. Well, who's the chair? I was going to ask the chairman to yeah, sign. Whatever. Right. Now, the next thing we have to talk about is the uh, pilot agreement, uh, payment of tax agreement to negotiate with them. Uh, I believe when we originally approached town meeting, we said it would be a board of the assessors who would do that. So, like, let me try and see if we can set up a meeting. Chair of the board here, chair of the assessors, and myself. We look at their proposal and make suggestions. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I like that because I like more meetings. Actually, I think we never voted on uh, giving me the authorization to sign this thing I'm signing. All in favor? Aye. Aye, also. <laughs> I could have scratched it out. Department of Liaisons. Each year, uh, 
the board uses picture departments that they want to work with. Uh, chairman usually is my name on all these. Um, we have building department, police department, highway department, hospital aging, and fire department. I've done them all except police, so I'm not strong. I don't know. Suborn in at the same time to mm -hmm. go through this stuff. Is that correct that it's not your primary business? That is correct. My primary business is glass. So we're back to square one. I, mean, I, I would uh, like to find a way to basically permit you to do what you want to do, but you can also follow the rules. Um, what was the what was the hold up on the uh, the other class two? Planning board. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, no now more. it comes back to me. I say no more. Do you want to meet with town council, invite him to the next meeting, and see if if he's available because it's the day after the holiday, or come to the 18th or whatever, and okay. address and it with him, or do you want? Further research on that. Well, what I'd like to do is find a way to issue a permit. Figure out a way to legally right. um, issue the permit. That's what I really want to do. 
I'm with you on that. Un under state rules, um, it has to be a major portion of your business that you can sign up. It doesn't have to be the total business. Even I have a class one, and my class one sales are not the major. Uh, yeah, we, follow our, we don't follow what our attorney says, and we yeah. just put ourselves in a jackpot. Um, so, yeah, you want to see if you can come in? Uh, we'll send, invite you guys at that time. I mean, this was applied for three months ago. We get as bad as the plan. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the mercy of town council on this one. So we uh, just got this back. All right, I'll invite him. You want to do the 18th? Or do you want to try and see if we can do the 5th? Yeah, do the 5th. Would you around the 5th? Right. Is that July 5th? We're not going away. Right? Or do you want to just put it the 18th? All right, I'll see if it's around on the 5th. We'll go from there. If he's not here the 5th, it would be the followed meeting, which would be the 18th. All right, so we'd like it notice or should it verify or we're just opening up? Well, time. once I verify it with town council, we'll send you a notice that he's going to be coming. Okay. All right. Um, so I am going to say that's better than no. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your patience. Before okay. we move into the okay. appointment, the um, were we planning on doing anything for a special one day alcohol permit for the Andrick event or not? Well, we're going to talk about that. Um, because I know Chief Wishar, I think, still wants to assign a detail. Yeah, he, that's, to it. So that's a separate issue. Um, and a liability insurance would have to, whatever we require when people have things in the brain. If we do, I don't, I don't know. Um, but as far as the pouring license go, both the state and Eddie said they do not need one. If he is supplying the alcohol and it's by invite only, then it's not. And he's not required to buy from specific no. dealers. He can just go to a local packing. Because he's not. It would be the same as if you had friends at your house yeah. and you were having a house party and had a. The difference comes in is if it's open to the public, then he needs a pouring license. Then he's got to go through the licensing process. The state actually does not get involved at all. They don't get involved with one state permits. I know they don't. And they said talk to town council. So I talked to Ed, and that's exactly what he said. So. The difference um, being like the art gallery was open to the public, that's a different situation. Okay. But Al can require. Yeah, well, he just as part of the Dufresne's rental, he can require. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. No matter what, right. Yeah, any, that's what I said before we were talking about roof range permits. If they require <laughs> alcohol, it's got to come to us anyway. But they, they need the permission from us to have it on the property, but not a liquor, one day liquor license. Did you already give them permission to hold it on the property? Mm, no, it's, everything was in abeyance, right? Until we found out. So do you want to? Uh, is she coming going to come back in now, do you think? She was here that night. She was like, you guys certainly back. Might not hurt, and then we can just explain to her the whole thing and why she doesn't need one, but why she does need a police officer. Okay. Okay. Yep. You guys got that? Yeah. Uh, then I have another item is... Got a letter from the Parks Oversight Ad Hoc Committee. They have made up some signs to dedicate <laughs> dedicate the gazebo, gazebo to a former Dufresne Park original committee member. Was it? Ah, I don't know what you call him. He was a conservation commission member who took care of the park took care on of his own him. time. Uh, and they would like to have a dedication ceremony on, I believe it's 
August 18th, did it say? 16th, at 6 o'clock. And they wanted to know if the board members would be available to attend the ceremony. When is it again? August 16th. Tuesday, August 16th. At 6 p.m. Uh, concert. concert. I imagine. You know, sounds fine to me. I mean, I've already taken my vacation. So do we need? Do we? Do we need to remind you that? Nope, I'll put it right August 16th. August 16th. Do, do, I, I, do you want us to send out a reminder just so everybody? Well, we'll meet on the second. Second and the no, we haven't scheduled a second one for August. Yeah, well, I'm good on Mondays after that. Okay. So you want to go back for our regular? Mondays? Yeah, go back for our regular Mondays after August okay. second. So it'll be the night before, right? It would be the 14th, 15th, 15th. I can probably can remember in 24 hours. And so August 14th. August 15th, we're going to have our next board, our board meeting, the second board meeting in August. Then the next night would be the dedication of the gazebo, 16th. the 16th right. at 6 p.m. You want us to send out reminders or put it out so everybody can have it in writing? Or? But they're, they're nice signs. They're up in my office. If you want me to bring them down afterwards, so you can take a look at them. I saw them actually. Did you already? I came there at Billy's. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, do it nice. And then one final thing that I have was, or next to last thing, uh, I invited the people from the Department of Revenue to come to our August second meeting. Uh, they would like to know if they could schedule it earlier than 6.30. They'd like it in the afternoon, but talk to I sent an email out. Lou said 5 o'clock was the earliest he could be here. That week. If it was the week, next week I could do it any time during the day. Yeah, no. It's, um, does the board want me to schedule a special meeting with them? I don't know if they're going to be available. That's the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be beneficial. All right. If um, if they can, if they can't come on another special day, then or for next week, you said. Yeah, I can't do it. The week of the first and the fifth, I'm tied up here today. But the following week, week of the eighth, eleventh, eleventh is a Monday. Eighth. What is the eleventh? What month are we talking? August first is a Monday. Oh, August first, you're talking. Okay. No, the week of August first through the fifth, I'm tied up. August eighth. Excuse me, sir. So some kind of police train. Basically, yeah, actually it is. Okay, so you're talking the second week in August? Yes. You're available. I think so. Steve, what days would be good for you on the second week of August? Just let we're you know. Not, actually, we're not. I, my I, schedule's not out that far. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> actually, <laughs> August 8th, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm tied up. That's why I usually say, just give me a date and I'll, I'll make it Oh, happen. okay. The okay. 9th, I'm, I'm good. How about you, Mark, for that week? I, I don't know. I mean, my life's over now. Well, I'm just... I'm going to wait for two I'm days, so <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, well, let me see if they can make it the 9th through the 12th in the afternoon. Yeah, anytime. Or 9th through the 11th yep. in the right. afternoon. Yep, anytime. Okay. All right, let me put that date out to them, or week out to them, and see what they come back with, and I'll let the board know. So. I agree because they're coming out of Boston. So yeah, it's, it's and the last it's an overnight trip out this far. You know. Well, they like it when we have to go down there for eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, right, right. So, but I won't force them to come out here at nighttime. Um, I have. Can you get a little? <laughs> no, I want them to come here. So, because it's part of the community compact that we did with them. So I think it would be nice that they make a presentation for the residents. So residents can see what we got for our signing up for the grant and getting the free services. So. Um, I don't know, do you want to invite Lesser or anybody else and see if they want to come or they don't? Uh, they'll, they'll get a copy of the report at some point. Yeah, they know where we're at. Okay. okay. I'm not with the... Uh, yeah, well, I saw the picnic, but also, yeah. Is there a chance that it's 
And the, the last thing I have is I finally have the project funding agreement for the school project. Uh, do I have permission from the board to sign it for the $34 million elementary school project? Make a motion to allow the town to say to sign <coughs> the uh, report. Okay. <coughs> Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> It's going to be hard for me to put my signature on that one, but we do have to move forward. And that's all I have for the board. All right, so now we're up to the We are. Is there an extra copy there for me? Appointments? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We can do it individually or a page at a time. You, the board usually does it a page at a time. <clears throat> Last name on the cable TV advisory thing, I thought it was a person that resigned, I thought. I never got anything since you resigned. <clears throat> I'm not going to look into that before making that appointment. Well, we can make it pending no receipt of a okay. resignation. Because, I, yeah, I, 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 that's what I'm going to tell you. Well, I haven't... We haven't we haven't been officially notified by anybody, so yep. continue on to get Tessa Langley's name. Um <clears throat> we do the first one separate. What? Lomers. Why so you can see it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Mike Elmer still works here? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so what we do is like you take one through. We have two of the five. Mm -hmm. General speaking. Two of this one separate. Oh, we're going to do this one separate. Yeah. All right. So everybody so all set with page one? We want to make a motion to approve Elmer. So names for the Elmer's wedding speech fund. I make the motion that we accept the names for Almer's Lighting Street School Fund. Second. Any discussion? I will abstain. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And one abstain. All right. I'll move for the rest of the page. Make a motion to approve Americans with Disabilities Act Committee, Auxiliary Reserve Police Officers, Board of Appeals, Cable TV Advisory Committee, Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Charter Day Committee, Chief Procurement Officer, Commissioner of Trust Funds, and Conservation Commission members, um, two on this page and two on the second page. <coughs> yeah, second. Second. Yep, thank you. Any discussion? All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Constable Kathy. Constable Kathy. I didn't know she had that. Yeah. No. She's been like arrested, isn't she? <laughs> no, but somebody's slapping notice on your back, though. Yeah, that's all right. I didn't know about that. Ethics Commission, or anything? Of course, right now, um, for the Finance Committee. Finance Committee, I'm recommending Scott Wilson and Joe Wachowski to be the two to be. Can we move on from just uh, appoint Joe Wachowski for the time being and leave one unfilled for the time being? If you want, we can. If you Why? can so make that suggestion. Stop. Nothing's wrong with uh, it. I just want to sit down with. Well, we'll hold off on all of them then. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. As far as I'm concerned, as your recommendation goes, that's not an issue. But, uh, that's okay. The board has the right to hold off any affirmation under the rules and regs that you've adopted.
to make a motion to approve page two, uh, the exception of the finance committee, and over on to page three, the first four names. Any discussion? <coughs> also, um, note that the emergency manager director assistant is a interim appointment until a new fire chief. I noticed that. Okay, so there's no, okay. it's not a year on an appointment. All right, so it's interim? I'm <coughs> oh, sorry. It's interim? Acting. 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 Okay. <coughs> Finance committee, do you want to bring back to the next meeting or yeah. do you want to wait to two meetings? Because uh, the next one's next week. Next week it should be fine. All right, so second. Approved. Yeah. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Chris, uh, second three. name on energy committee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we talk about that? Or? Do you not want to? One? Um, Do we have a name to replace? Yeah, actually. Um, Jeremy Lashwa. Where's he from? Grandy? No, Street. South Street or New Auto Road? New Auto Road. Who is it? Jeremy Lashwa. The only other concern I had with that one is one member doesn't show to all the meetings. Fourth name down. All right. And the only issue I have is if they're not showing to a meeting, then they really shouldn't be put on there. That's my only concern. So you, want, you want to hold off on that whole thing with the finance committee? Yeah. All right. Which closes? The fourth name down under the energy committee. He has a tendency of not attending meetings. So. So, the other one I talked to the chair talking about. Um, all right, so we'll hold off on that one. This is page three. Page three. On the uh, historical district committee, are those two, three names within the confines or within the guidelines of the bylaw? We did receive a. Mm, I saw that from the letter from the yeah. Granby Historic Association, yeah. and they had recommended Robert Camus, Lillian Camus, yeah. Lisa Petroglia, yeah. and Michael Beck. Yeah. Um, Robert Camus is their recommendation. Plus, he lives in the district. We have Lori Meister, who is a GHA, currently a GHA recommended person. Okay. And we have. Two, right? We have, right, we have um, Cat Morrison, who is the realtor. realtor on it, and we have Dave Carmen, who is the architect on it. Okay. And Steve Nelly currently is our t the alternate member that we want to promote. I'm suggesting of promoting up to a full-time member. Okay. So this I, is in compliance with? I believe we are in compliance with okay. the five. One realtor? One architect, one architect, two members, two, and two members of the uh, um, right, of the of the GHA, yeah. and then we luck out because one of their recommended, actually, I think two of their recommended people live in the are also so district residents, right? Okay. All right. Uh, so, sorry, who were they? Who were they so, that's so. Came is just replacing himself. Because he, he filled an unexpired term. Okay, and that Steve Nally is on the jail seat? Yes. Okay. The um, same holds true on page three that we have on the ad hoc committee, infrastructure ad hoc committee, emergency planning committee, a um, acting appointment until the new chief is named. There's no way to have an ad hoc. A what? What is that? What? What's that in the infrastructure ad hoc committee? 
We have did, yeah, yeah, did that, yeah. We created that committee because originally we had just the Route 202 Sewer Committee. Yeah. However, there are people who are interested in total infrastructure, which was really talking about trying to get water into the Five Corners area, in addition to looking at the sewer, to try and make it so we have all the infrastructure available mm -hmm. to try and attract more commercial entities to at least this part of Granby, and then to look at finding ways of possibly expanding that infrastructure to other parts of town. Okay. Make a motion of proof with those um, three conditions. Uh, All right. Forest warden infrastructure and local emergency, and with the exception of the Energy Committee. All right. All right. Yep. All right. All in favor? All right. All right. That has to do with the non-criminal uh, disposition of parking citations where the town adopted years ago. And they have a process they have to go through for towing cars. Okay. Do they have the contract? It's not so much the contracts, it's, um, do you remember why they were, why they had to, you know, it's been a long time. Because they have to authorize a local Towing firm to pick up the vehicle and well, to store it to allow us to charge them for the storage fee. Well, so that's it, in a formal a complaint that a police officer goes and inventories the vehicle. And it's not that type of tow. Oh, it's a private property. Oh, okay. It's private parking, like a couple of farms, somebody parks it and they want the car and It's not police tows. Okay. <coughs> the police department's involved in getting the information to the park and court. Right, Chief? When we have to tow sleep it, don't we? Don't us. When we have to tow an unwanted vehicle from Cumberland Parks, you notify the parking clerk of the vehicle registration number. No. No, but that's usually a private tow. Cumberland Parks takes care of that themselves. Yeah, but they're supposed to go through the police. They usually notify us. Notify. Well, usually, usually what happens is the tow company ends up notifying us that they're doing a private trespass tow. That's what happens. But isn't the police department involved like when Billy Johnson comes out, tows a vehicle, and pounds it or stores it until it's claimed? Not on our no. behalf. Well, when it's on our behalf, they are. When it's a private tow, I believe they all they really have to do is notify us what's going on. Yeah. Which is what they do. All the time. They can't tow off private property without notifying the police. Department. Okay. Now, while you're up there, uh, there's only one dispatcher listed. Is that because the other one's expired differently, or yes. it is okay? I, they're not all on one year appointment. Don't again. Don't again. Was at the end of the probation. Yes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the lorry's on a different schedule. Yes. But they should be too, right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Kathy Barrett is Barrett, B A R R E T. T. Any motions? Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve page four. Um, exception of, again, the, on the advisory committee, the first person's last name is Barrett, B A R R E T T, or E T. Barrett have one T or two, Al? Well, I think it's two. I think two there. They're not I think it's two. 
Okay, and going over to the next page also the top yes. two names. Second. Two. Okay, we have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Did they want a fifth member on the SWAC? They haven't provided me with a fifth name. Do you know somebody who was interested? No, I just I thought there was some talk of that. Um, are we going to have a representative from the board? You saw the letter requesting that I be appointed by the committee. It was, oh, I didn't see that. There was a warning in the I think it was, I forget where it was. Okay. Uh, seeing how the chairman of the bylaw review committee is here, we have a request from the chairman. A guy named Wishart, uh, please accept this letter. As a request at the time, Administrator Chris Martin appointed as an alternate member of the committee. We believe this knowledge of everyday workings of the town and how the bylaws intersect with those tasks would be extremely helpful to the committee. Most of our discussions would benefit from his vast knowledge in these areas. Vast. 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 Please <laughs> consider this request and feel free to contact with any questions. Thank you in advance. Alan Wishart, Chairman of the Bylaw uh, Review Committee. Sounds good to me. I always thought it was Wishart. If you say it anyway, it was not responding anyway. But <laughs> the question is, is do you still want a regular member or do you want me to be a regular member versus a alternate member? Well, the, the, assuming that everybody else is still on the um, committee, including so not number, right? We have, well, the bylaws say that we have to have five. Um, so we initially, there was five, I'm sorry, initially there was six people appointed. So one person was then kind of reclassified as a, an alternate. Um, so right now, we need to keep the number at five. You don't I, have five. I don't know. You so know Mary, right now. Mary McDowell was serving as a select board rep okay. on the committee. So mm -hmm. right now, you have Martin Merrill, yeah. Virginia Snowpeck, yeah. Alan Wisher, yeah. and Steve Nett. And so um, Ross Anderson is no longer. He hasn't been showing any okay. meetings. So that would so be five that are regular to have. Um, if you choose to have Chris appointed, we would need another regular member. And you can uh, make me the suck quarter up on there if you so decide. Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, do we need a fill in here? Yeah, and that's the one I'm having a hard time with. It used to, it used to be the fire chief. Yeah. Who did that? I will um, I'll do that if you want. You want to do it for See, I teach that for the state, so okay. I That's fine. No problem doing that. Which one? Sexual harassment. Oh, okay. Because you usually like to have one male, one How male. How to do it or? Yeah. <laughs> How to do it and avoid the law. <laughs> okay, so on page four, five. Five. Um, we're adding Mr. Martin to the bylaw review committee. Yeah. We're we're appointing the right to know coordinator um, acting. Yes. And if we could vote on a harassment officer and the, I don't think I, I don't need to recuse myself in a veteran committee, right? No. That's, how about the vest vet, uh, in the district committee? We should vote separately. No, I don't worry about it. No, we're not. You only the next official. No, on the district representative. Oh, I won't worry about that. Okay. Make a motion to approve. And those. to add you as the, the second name as the second. sexual harassment. Well, I, no, I was going to I was going to do gonna that separately. You're going to yourself on that? Yeah. Okay. I second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And separately, um, town of sexual harassment officer. Uh, yeah, I move that the uh, town of Jamie's sexual harassment officer would be Lou Berry, acting member, and it's all the time that we actually have a fire chief, and Jessica Langloy, formerly known as Jessica Scahill. Um, 
for the year 2017. Wait a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And Lou abstains. Anything else you want to abstain from or vote separately? That's it for that one. All right. And on the back page, last page, we have uh, we're all good with that committee. That's pretty much no, not our call, no, anyways, right? No. 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 Pull some people off of there. Okay. Change. So we have to take our uh, third president off. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> second president. Actually, we have to take the second one off. Deborah Barthor off. Okay. Jonathan Cavallo comes off. Now, why is this? Uh, Deborah Bartholet was on there because she was the principal of West Street School. Okay. With the changes made at the school, she's no longer our principal. Oh, okay. Uh, Jennifer Champagne is basically going to be the principal in okay. charge of both buildings. Uh, Tom, uh, Jonathan Cavallo was on there because he was the principal at East Meadow before Jennifer, and we just are pulling him off because he's now involved with high school. He really isn't involved with this. Okay. Thomas Jefferson is no longer employed by the town. No longer our president? Nope, no. no longer our president. Who is he? Thomas Jefferson was the director of SPED yeah, under yeah. Isabelina Rodriguez. He was here maybe a couple of years. Okay. Um, the other one I want to do is I want to add on Cheryl Stanton as our Cheryl in the past, by the way. S H E R Y L Stanton, and she's the superintendent of schools. Okay. Making a motion to approve those appointments as <coughs> noted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think we're done, Chris. Yep. Anything else? All right. Um, the only other thing we have left is the executive session on collective bargaining. So we're not going to leave um, our regular meeting for executive session. And we want to return to adjourn the regular meeting after the executive session. So to go into executive session, we need a roll call vote. Barry aye. Set. Yes, aye. Aye. Shanaki aye. Shanaki aye. Bail aye. 